The Photo Vault. A journey into vernacular photography, archives and photo books. Hi and welcome to The Photo Vault, with the special on books that inspire artists, writers, curators and thinkers. She has worked with many photographers, institutions and is also deeply involved in photo book making. I ask her for free recommendations. Literature is very important for me. So I'm a writer. I write you know, photography, not on photographs. I write about stories and people and I use, I write about anything but photography. But back then when I discovered his books, there is this uh, French writer, Emmanuel Carrer. Uh, we are in Paris now, so it makes sense. And he has uh, various books and literature is a very, very interesting, sets a very interesting example of how to tell a story. And what Manuel Carrer is doing is, is uh, creating this is fictionalized uh, autobiography or maybe autobiographical fiction. So he blends the genders and um, he, generous and uh, he creates this hybrid narrative that uh, is actually what I, I, I explained before, very self-defying. It has these gaps, lacunas that unsettle you, but at the same time allow you to, to think of you know, the world and of yourself in a, in a more, in a different way. And uh, this kind of self-alienation, this de-alienation, this, yeah, to, to have this exercise of unreading or of rereading or understanding yourself anew, that was very, very interesting and very, very inspiring for me, like 15 years ago when I discovered him. And it's something that I employ in my curatorial projects and when I approach photographic projects and narratives and in my writing. That is an exercise, a constant exercise of aperture, actually, to be able to, to overcome fear also and to enter unknown territories. And I think it's very important right now in the world where we are living that's so polarized, that's extremely polarized, and that you have to be, you know, I don't want to take sides. I really want to understand the other, to understand and to, yeah, to create this space for understanding. So this is important for me. So... Manuel Carrer, if you want to discover him, a very good choice, a brilliant man and a writer. Uh, and the second reference is when it comes to archives and photography, I think it is essential to read, uh, it's very, she's very well known, the writings of Ariela Azulay, Ariela Aisha Azulay, who has, um, you know, shaped, shifted the way we look at photographs because she really points attention up to here, early 2000, photography is all about the surface of representation and the subject, the photograph subject is seen as something very passive. And she says, no, that the subject is also complicit in the image and that the image is not something fixed. This image is something, the, the contract of photography is something and the event of photography is something that can be renegotiated anew. And it can even provide the, you know, the the victims with the possibility through the photographs of the perpetrators generated by the perpetrators to um, foster new narratives, uh, alternative narratives and to restore the past and restore a future. So she talks about photography as a space of relation and negotiation and dialogue. And I think everything that we are doing, the photographic document is archival in essence because it's relational. It's an exercise of relation with the world. So that is very, very important. And her book is, you have the civil contract of photography, a very thick book, and you also have now the um, uh, uh, Potential History, a book that she published just before the pandemic. Big books, but you can also access her words through short essays and through interviews. So this is my second recommendation. And the third recommendation is, uh, I, I have picked up a book which expresses my, uh, what I feel today. It's this book, Sunday, November 12th, 2023. It's a book we did together, Lucas, Gyulistan. It's a very important book for me, for my personal biography and my life. And also the way photography sometimes in archives come in our lives, expressing the way we feel at, back, at that moment, the past and the present and the stories of these young two characters we discovered at this market in Istanbul, Freco Market. This couple, we, they don't know our names, but for us, they are Feliz and Kenan, enjoying their evenings in the tavernas and nightclubs of Istanbul in the 70s. They are very important. 
for my me back then, my state of being back then, for us, because life allowed us this opportunity to have access to this beautiful archive of cards, restaurant cards with the photographs of Kenan and Feliz. And also I think it connected us with the past of a country that I was personally getting to know better back then in 2018. So Gulistan, the land of the roses, as I also book that talks about radiates love and uh, hopefulness and optimism for being together. This is my recommendation for our today's podcast. The book Gulistan, she mentioned, was a collaboration she and I worked on. It is a small format photo book. In the text section of the podcast, you can find links to the authors and books she mentioned. A full interview with her will come up in one of the next episodes. Thank you for listening. Lukas Birk says tschüss.